Hello friends, welcome back to Biotech Simplified. Today we will discuss about another interesting topic which is karyotype. So before going to karyotyping, let us discuss what does karyotype means. So it simply means that it is a picture of a person's chromosome, that is it is a collection of chromosomes. So the word karyotype comes from a Greek word which is karyon and the meaning of karyon is nucleus. So the karyotype is represented as an ideogram. So what is an ideogram? Ideogram is a set of chromosomes that is the haploid set of chromosomes when it is arranged in the decreasing size it is known as ideogram. So karyotype is an ideogram that is it is arranged in a decreasing size order. So the picture you see in the diagram is a karyotyping that is the chromosomes are arranged from 1 to 22 as well as the X and Y chromosomes are arranged in a decreasing size order. So such a collection of chromosomes is known as karyotype and the process of formation is known as karyotyping. So now let us discuss about the types of karyotype. So as you can see in the diagram, there are two types. A is symmetric and B is asymmetric. So by seeing the diagram A, we can understand it well that it is metacentric, that all the chromosomes in A diagram is metacentric, whereas in diagram B, it is acrocentric. Another difference between symmetric and asymmetric is that in symmetric the chromosome set that is the larger and smaller chromosome difference is lesser whereas in asymmetric the larger and smaller chromosome difference is more. So as you can see the two differences clearly by looking at the diagram that is in A diagram it is metacentric as well as the chromosomes are more or less similar in size whereas in the B diagram it is asymmetric karyotype and the they are acrocentric as well as the difference that is the chromosomes are of different sizes so larger and smaller difference is seen in the case of asymmetric karyotype next let us discuss the types of samples from which karyotyping can be done so these include the peripheral blood cord blood bone marrow blood aminoidic fluid and products of conception so now let us discuss the procedure of karyotyping so once the blood has been collected cell culture is done and after the cell culture is done it is stopped that is the cell division is stopped at the metaphase so the next step is hypertonic treatment of the blood cells so after it fixation is done and the slide preparation as well as the dehydration of the slide is done next it is treated with an enzyme and stain is done so this is the general procedure that is carried out for karyotyping. So as we discussed earlier, the first procedure that is first step in karyotyping involves the collection of blood. That is here a 5 ml of venous blood is collected and to it a phytohemagglutinin as well as a culture media is added. And it is cultured at 37 degrees Celsius for 3 days. After which a colchicinin as well as a hypotonic saline is added. The cells are then fixed. After that the cells are spread onto a slide by dropping. And after that step it is digested with an enzyme trypsin and it is stained with gamsa stain after which it is analyzed that is the metaphase spread is analyzed 
and that is how we get a karyotype. The last step in the procedure is screening, that is organizing the chromosomes into a karyotype. Hope the concept of karyotyping is clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel Biotech Simplified. And if you like the video, please like and share with your friends.